G'day everyone, welcome back to another Marvel's Avengers news update video. In today's video, I'm just going to be going over a bit of news that has come out for the game over the last couple of days, including the new patch that's been released and a few other bits and pieces that I want to go through with you guys. So if you guys are going to enjoy the stream, or you enjoyed the video I should say, make sure to leave a like, comment, share and subscribe if you haven't already. But now, let's get straight into the video. So getting straight into it, I want to go over a few things in this video, but let's start off with the new patch that came out uh, just a couple of days ago. This was version patch 1.8.1, uh, and I'll go through the uh, patch notes with you guys. Uh, there wasn't many, um, but I'll put a uh, photo up on the screen for you guys, and I'll put a link to them in the description below for you as well, if you guys want to go check them out for yourselves. Um, but the this patch um, fixed a few things, a few things that I know a lot of people uh, enjoyed. So starting off with the reassemble campaign Avengers Initiative. So the vault onboarding mission now properly updated after completing a shield cache. Uh, players no longer automatically swaps to Hulk when choosing to fly, uh, find Olympia from the Avengers Initiative uh, war table during Kamala's portion of this level. Fair enough, interesting. Uh, art and animation, um, uh, Captain America's Marvel Studios Avengers Endgame outfit shield now displays correctly in the reassemble campaign final battle and ending cinematics if, if equipped. So that's pretty cool to see. Um, definitely interested uh, as you guys know I want to go through once all of the Avengers get to MCU outfit I do want to replay the entire campaign with the MCU suits on because I thought that would be a really cool uh, really cool idea uh, Captain America's Marvel's uh, end game outfit as well uh, shield is now oriented correctly so he's back on his back so the star faces upward there you go so moving on to the UI changes, we have the back in the game buff no longer appears when switching characters. Uh, mission tooltips for the Mega Hive now correctly mentioned that only four hero gauntlets need to be completed instead of eight. A snippet of the code no longer appears in the tooltip of the Red Room uniform. So of course, uh, as we all know, the, the Red Room takeover uh, challenges and the event itself is being come is coming back uh, because of the Black Widow movie. Of course, it came out. Uh, it should be out for most countries now. Um, I haven't seen it myself. If you guys uh, have seen it, uh, I, I you know I can't control the uh, comment section below, guys. So don't uh, if you guys don't want spoil, don't read the comments. Um, but I definitely want to go check it out. It definitely sounds so seems like an awesome film. Um, but uh, yeah, of course that is coming out in the next weekly reset uh, later on today, I'll, along with something else from the Black Widow film, which I'll go over uh, in a second. Uh, but next we have combat. Players can no longer use the Void Tech transponder to shrink moniker in uh, being the odds. I've never actually seen this happen, but I, it would be pretty cool to actually see, but now you can't, you can't do it anymore. Um, gamma, uh, gear challenges and rewards. Gear resist gamma resistance, I should say, will no longer show up in the buff feed as redacted buff resilience. And known issues, enemies may not spawn in some flaws in Last Avenger Standing. Now, going off that Last Avenger Standing, I know it's been bugged for quite a while. I think it was on floor 10, I think a lot of people were having problems with. Um, they have recently come out uh, on uh, Discord and said, Hey everyone, enemies should now spawn correctly in Last Avenger Standing. Please let us know if this is not the case and we'll investigate further. Now, this has been fixed uh, as far as I know. A lot of people have been going on and grinding Last Avenger Standing recently. Um, and been getting exotics left, right, and center. So uh, it's definitely a good uh, way to get exotics, probably the better way to get exotics now. Um, if you have already completed the events for the Red Room Takeover and the Cosmic Event, which of course ends in a few hours as well. So there you go, guys. Um, of course, like I said, the Red Room Takeover does start up again today. It goes from last, from uh, the weekly reset uh, today until July 22nd. Now, uh, of course, these will bring back uh, some events or bring back the Red Room uh, events as well. Uh, if they're gonna be, if you've already completed it, if you'd be able to re-complete re, re it, I guess, um, that is unclear. I'm not too sure about that. Um, so I don't know if we'll be able to get, you know, more gear from it, or if you've already completed it, you'll be able to get it again, or if you've already completed it, you won't be able to get it again. I'm not too sure. My guess is that everyone will be able to get it again. Again, don't quote me on that. I will let you know in tomorrow's video um, if if that is the case or not. Uh, of as of as of, of course, uh, the Black Widow movie is out, like I said before, and with that, Marvel's Avengers, Crystal Dynamics, uh, Square Enix have bought out a new Black Widow uh, Marvel, Marvel MCU suit inspired by the Black Widow. Now this is her white outfit that we've all, all seen from the trailers. Um, as you guys can see, I'll put it up on screen for you guys to have a look at. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, the, again, with the one problem I do have, I think it would have made a lot more 
nicer if her hair was different as it as you do see in the film um you know in the trailers definitely you know with the braids and just have a longer hair in general again it's just a minor thing but the suit in itself is amazing it does look like the uh staff is a bit different i don't know if it's just me the staff does look, look a bit different and the uh gun holster the gun itself looks a bit different but again that just won't be me um we'll have to check it out when the suit actually does drop in this uh weekly's marketplace um which of course happens in a couple of hours from now when of this video going live um, will happen in the weekly reset later on today. So let me know if you guys are planning on getting this skin. I definitely will be. Uh, of course, like I said, I'll be getting all MCU skins that are going to be coming out. Um, so yeah, I will be streaming the uh, this as well. Um, so make sure to come by and uh, check us out. You know, have a bit of fun with you with with us guys. Uh, but yeah. I will uh, end the video there. Just a bit of a short one, just a bit of a quick news uh, recap of what's happened the last couple of days. Um, I, there are a few other things that uh, come out uh, that are, you know, leaks or that kind of stuff. I don't do leaks, as you guys know on the channel. I only do stuff that has been, like, actively uh, come out from the developers themselves. We do talk about it on stream and such, but that's as far as I'll go uh, about that. But uh, appreciate you everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you guys did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, yeah, do check us out on uh, stream, on stream, guys. I haven't streamed for a while. Today will be my first stream back in quite a couple of days. So I'm really excited for this. And especially with a new skin coming out, it's going to be awesome. But uh, yeah, I want to thank you. Big thank you to all the channel members. You guys are awesome as always. Definitely help the uh, channel go uh, keep running. And, uh, you know, especially in these tough times as well. Uh, it's nice to see all the support that, uh, you know, my videos and, you know, the channel itself gets in general. So appreciate you, everyone who uh, supports the channel. And, you know, even just watching the video really does mean a lot, guys. But uh, thank you guys so very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. And as always, happy gaming.